over the last year, I've mentioned in several videos that I've been interested in diving into the world of drawing on Android tablets. Obviously, I've spent a lot of time drawing on Windows, Macs, iPads, and that sort of thing, so Android just felt like this big hole in my experience that I've never really played with or tried out. Enter the Samsung Galaxy Tab A with S Pen. It arrived in the mail late last week, so I've been playing with it for a few days, and overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. I also know that it's probably gonna take me a good couple weeks to do a decent review of the tablet, um, partially because there's just so much to dive through. There's there's workflow things. I'm not familiar with any of the apps. I'm just getting used to Android in general. Um, but I did want to kind of jump on and give my first impressions. First, why did I choose this particular tablet? There are a lot, and I mean a lot of Android tablets out there. And when you dive in and you start looking through all these things, it could be a little bit intimidating as to which one works well with pens, which ones don't, uh, which brands should you get, what size should you get. Samsung's high-end tablets are the S2 line and those are going to have much better screens, they have better specs in general, and those are also a little bit more expensive. Now the Tab A, which is what I got, uh, is a little bit lower and it's got a lower screen resolution, but the reason I decided to go with this is because of what is written here on the box. It says, with S Pen. This little line of text is really, really important when you're looking for a tablet to draw on. Most of these tablets have capacitive touch screens and they aren't really built for really, really accurate styluses. Anything that says with S Pen is going to work really well with a nice stylus like the S Pen. There are sensors built into the tablet screen specifically for this sort of thing. And unfortunately, nothing on the S2 line right now has anything that works with an S Pen, so I was a little bit out of luck as far as drawing is concerned, but I think this is gonna work out pretty well anyway. So just to make 100% clear, if you wanna draw on one of these things, make sure it says with S Pen. You can't get the Galaxy Tab A and then buy the X Pen extra because it, the tablet itself will not have the sensors needed to work with the S Pen. Samsung used to also have another line called the Note Pro line, uh, which they discontinued earlier this year. Uh, those had higher specs and they also worked with the S Pens. The other device that is designed to work with the S Pen is the Galaxy 7 Note phones, but since they were blowing up on airplanes, Samsung just discontinued those. I made a list of all the places in the world I would never want to be when my phone explodes and being on an airplane was number two. All right, let's move on to the fun part, the actual tablet. Two things jumped out at me right away as I started using this and that is how similar Android is to iOS. There was practically no learning curve whatsoever when I jumped in. Most of the core apps that I use for things that aren't related to drawing were right there, you know, checking email, Netflix, and that sort of thing. It's it's all the same apps, you know, just in a different ecosystem. My very first smartphone, which was like five or six years ago, was an Android phone, and it's amazing to see how far Android has come in the last few years. The second thing that really stood out to me was the screen itself. Um, obviously, since it's a lower resolution screen, I could see all the pixels, and it just... I, I'm not used to that. My phone, my laptop, my tablet, my Surface Pro, they all have high resolution screens anymore. So jumping backwards is uh, a little bit rough. And that is the definition of a first world problem. But seriously, I wish I could get one of these tablets at a higher resolution. Some awesome people on the interwebs gave me some awesome suggestions as far as apps that I should try out. I've tried several, but the one that so far has really stood out to me is an app called Artflow. Right now I'm just using the free version. I haven't really had the chance to dive into all the in-app purchases and cool stuff that you can do with it, but just right off the bat, you know, jumping in, drawing with it, sketching with it, it feels really good. It feels really solid. So I just like the initial uh, vibe that it's giving off. I think Sketchbook might be my most requested review, so uh, a lot of people are going to be happy that are going to be taking a really solid look at it. I haven't been impressed with the demos, um, but I hear that the full-blown version is uh, much, much better. Another one that caught my eye is called Infinite Painter. Um, it seems to have some potential there, so I'm looking forward to diving into that one. And lastly, there's one that's kind of flying under the radar. It's called Clover, and it looks like it's kind of crazy because they've taken a desktop app. I don't think it's a real desktop app, but it looks like a desktop app, and it's running on an Android phone. And so I'm curious to see what it looks like you know, on an Android tablet. I was also really kind of pumped when I saw Medibang in the Google Play Store, um, but after playing with it for a little bit, it's a scaled down phone version. It's not like the tablet version that I'm used to on the iPad. Just poking around, I didn't see anything like pressure sensitivity or all the little fun nuances that I like to play with. See this little guy right here? This is the pen. It is the skinniest pen I have ever used in my entire life. There's a pretty good reason why the pen is so skinny because it actually slides into the tablet itself, which is nice that the tablet can store the pen. The downside of this is after using this just for one evening, my hand was really, really starting to cramp. In fact, a day later, 
I still feel it in my hand. It's too skinny. I suppose that's fine if you're just taking quick notes or that sort of thing, but I think if you're gonna be using it for an extended period of time and you're old like me, that's something to take into consideration. Fortunately, Wacom's got us covered. So last night while my hand hurt, I went on to Amazon and ordered a Wacom Bamboo Smart Stylus. Should be arriving here later this week. I'm looking forward to using that because that's more of a traditional size pen, but it works, uh, should work perfectly fine on this tablet. So there we go. I'm kind of excited to really dive in and start playing with this thing some more. Overall, my first impressions of it are really good. I think if you're looking into the world of Android because you don't want to uh, you know, spend the kind of money that you would have to for an iPad Pro to use something like this. This thing is gonna be probably half the price, maybe even a little bit less than an iPad Pro with a pencil together. So this looks like a real alternative to that, um, especially if you're already familiar with Android. This might be a really good option for you. You're probably gonna give up on some things. You're not gonna have an app like AstroPad. Uh, you might not have some of the bells and whistles, but for a fraction of the price, it still could be a pretty good option, and I'm looking forward to diving in further. And like I said, the review is still several weeks off, um, especially since I'm using so many new apps. I want to make sure that I have the opportunity to really kind of dive in and digest the workflow a little bit better and see you know, kind of where you stub your toe on, on a new device like this and that just takes time and repetition and, and using it quite a bit. So that's something to look forward to. If you have any comments or questions based on my experience so far, let me know in the comments down below or you could always hit me up on Twitter. Also, if you find my videos useful, consider contributing on Patreon. I'd really appreciate it. That's all i got for now. I'll see you guys in a couple days and have a great one.